Okay, uh, I'm doing this video of the underside of the 1970 Hemi Cuda convertible. Um, first of all, this car was found in California with 30,000, just over 30,000 original miles, original paint, immaculate, spotless, rust-free body before it was rotisserie restored. Just so everybody knows, it's got a DOT for mileage statements. It's, uh, this was, this is without a doubt, one of the cleanest, unmolested, virgin, original sheet metal cooters you'll ever find anywhere on the planet, um, and let alone being a convertible. But anyway, uh, this car, as we go underneath it, <clears throat> you're gonna see the restoration of the underside, uh, as clean as the top, actually. Uh, should be able to see the gloss you know, you look at these cars on so many videos and you, uh, you know, you see photographs of the undercarriages that look like this. But what you don't know is that car, so many of them had rotted, rotted floorboards, rotted frames, door skins, quarter panels. When you look at a virgin Cuda like this, there's no denying this sheet metal is about as best you'll ever find. Dana rear end here, 410 Dana. Uh, literally, uh, what the heck is it? I think there's like 270 miles on this complete build. You'll notice everything is like new old stock. Uh, right at, right, just like you'd see in the, better than the showroom in 1970 with today's technology and paint. <clears throat> Uh, literally everything was found for the most part new old stock when this build was created over uh, way over 1500 hours just in labor alone uh, if you do the math on that uh, it's so expensive to do a car like this anyone that's professional that has done it We'll tell you, you can spend 200,000 uh, just in labor to do a car like this, like nothing. At today's rates, it's, it's, it's incredible. You'll notice all brand new brake lines, gas lines, exhaust system. Look at the floors on this. If you look real close, you can see a little bit of the factory undercoat that's almost impossible to remove, but that's the way the factory did it. It usually do up in the wheel wells. And uh, like I said, you can look at a lot of undercarriages that are painted. And you never knew <laughs> what's been replaced. When you're looking at a virgin car like this, the sheet metal, there's no denying one of the best running 426 Hemis you'll ever find anywhere on the planet. Um, literally, new old stock, um, original bore. You'll see all the spec sheets for the dyno, um, done by one of the most professional engine builders on the planet. Uh, once again, it runs like, like a new car. Um, okay, I'm going to walk back down, check out the floors in the pinch wells, in the frame rails. <laughs> they still, I mean, as nice as you'll ever find on any Coda. There's a little electric fuel pump, which is so sweet if you're not running the car, you know, every couple of weeks. It's uh, <clears throat> such a benefit to have on these big blocks to get the fuel right back up to the carburetor without wearing your starter down. Okay. I think you can get a good visual. Once again, this is the factory undercoat, almost like a sound deadening, but... Uh, all correct exhaust system 
Hemi 18 spline, four speed. This car is loaded with options. Uh, front and rear rubber bumpers. Uh, <clears throat> trunk rack, power disc brakes, to just name a few, rim blow, rim blow horn, full rally gauge package, 150 mile an hour speedometer. I mean, look at the brake drums and <laughs> everything seriously is like brand spanking new turnkey. Better than the factory built these cars, literally. In every direction, mechanically and cosmetically. Just gonna do a quick parallel down the side, even though I've already got a video outside, but sometimes in this type of lighting, you can really get an idea of just how beautiful this car is. And I mean like a mirror down the sides, nothing to hide. Optional rally wheels, <clears throat> 15 inch rallies, like new old stock out of the box. Same with the rally rim blow. Uh, I'm sorry, the, uh, the factory rim blow steering wheel is just like brand new out of the box. The dash pad, all the gauges, everything works on this car spotlessly. This is a factory original rally red car from 1969 off the assembly line for 1970 production uh, with factory. This car came literally in 1969 with a factory pistol grip four speed, which is one of 17 that were ever built by Chrysler back in its day. That drivetrain was removed, obviously, and uh, with very low mileage. And then, of course, this rotisserie restoration took place. Uh, real showpiece in real life. Looks so much better in real life than it does here, although this, this is really looking really nice. You're gonna see still photography of this car when it was stripped down to bare metal. Check out the sheet metal on this car when it was naked. I mean, nothing, absolutely spotless, virgin, rust free. This car has no body work, never been in an accident. It was extremely low mileage, extremely rare in its day. It was documented by Chrysler historian, Galen Govia, uh, as being one of 17 ever built with pistol grip four speed in this model which was called the Grand Coupe. Factory leather upholstery. You'll notice the leather upholstery in this car is the way it left the factory. I got a sun glare coming in on this side. Uh, I don't know how that's gonna look. Yeah, let's see, okay. Look down the sides of this car. It's just like a mirror. There isn't a dimple, a scratch, a speck of any type of bodywork like so many of these cars you see. They look and they look beautiful in still pictures, but you get them and you find out they they've got china fenders and reproduction uh, door skins and quarter panels like so many of these cars. But this is the real deal. If you're looking for one of the finest Hemi Cuda convertibles, they built five of these cars originally, and the owner, as like, as it's described in the write-up, he couldn't buy one back in 1970. I guess he's in his 90s right now. He put it in a museum, and I, I bought it out of the museum. But he couldn't... Uh, he couldn't buy one originally, so he built this car, removed the 318, and put his new old stock 426 Hemi in it, along with his new old stock shaker hood, and on and on and on. He had everything for these cars, brand new in the original boxes that he, collect for, he collected for decades, when you could still buy all this stuff. Uh, once again, if you were to be laying on your back and looking underneath it <laughs> without it being on a lift at a car show, this is what people would look at underneath. And of course, a lot of times you can put mirrors. Hey, thank you very much for looking. Have a great day.